Hey guys, how are you? We are good. Um, we welcome to welcome to babygogglebookclub.com. Welcome to Under the Bookshelf with Isla. I'm Isla's <laughs> mom, and you are tuned all the way in to all things Baby Gumbo Book Club. And our guest today, our name on the honor board is Mr. Len. How are you doing? We are our own studio audience. Yes. Perfect. Thank you. And you get a high five for combo. High five for combo. <laughs> Mr. Lynn uh, is a fish biologist who has traveled all the way from the Chattahoochee Oconee National Forest. National Forest. And shout out to that. <laughs> and shout out to and him. what he does is that he goes to the river and he gets different types of fish. Only from the river, no ocean. I don't think, right? Nope, not from the ocean. No ocean, ocean just rivers. Just rivers. And he's sometimes going, lakes. Sometimes lakes. Sometimes lakes. And he will be, he has a fish for us that we're going to hold. Not right now, though. But not right now. Not, not right, right now. now. Right now, and we're going to. The book that we're reading is oh, the Pow Pow Fish. The Pow Pow Fish. So shout out to Lisa Petty in Dallas. Who, who gave the Pow Pow Fish. You've had this book since you were like three years old. That book is like five years old. That's why it's teared up. Oh. Keep your teared up book, guys. Yeah! It's still for memories. So before we get into reading Pow Pow Fish, I want to take a moment and just talk about the, the significance of who you are to Georgia and your importance of bringing about the awareness of native Georgia fish. Sure. Right? Am I right about that? Am I saying it correctly? Yes. 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 You said the word correctly! No, so here, here, mommy suffers with a little bit of, not suffers, I survived with a little bit of dyslexia. So I do mispronounce What's words. Lexi? We'll talk about that. <laughs> so, so yeah, I, I did good there. So let's talk about this fish that we're going to bring up. Let's take a look at that. Isla. Oh, yeah. Hold up. Hold up. Hold Isla's going to get her van of white on. Now. Wait a second. Hold the dog. Oh, he can hold this down. The fish that I was about to show you, straight man white style, Ooh. is a, what's the name Fast of this fish? This is a northern hog sucker. Say the name northern of that fish, Isla. What's the name of that sucker. fish? Northern heart sucker. And hog. Hog sucker. Hog sucker. Hog sucker. Hog sucker. Hog sucker. And <laughs> what they do, they're actually pretty good fish. They are, they eat the, um, the insects under the rocks. They're really not that bad. Wait, did you? Did you tell her that? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Cool. I, now, that's something I didn't know. Yep, we were having we a did. discussion about it. So, the I was investigating. Oh, he was investigating. So, we have more than just a picture, okay? We just have more. actually them. Yes. So, we really have an actual hog actually, sucker fish here for you guys. Oh, my gosh. We're so excited. So, oh, and um, if you're thinking if I can take this home, I really can't. Um, we're actually here with the real. Okay, are you gonna be able to hold that up? Um, you yeah. Need help? I, oh, I thought you were gonna be using your hands. Oh, it's out there! Oh my god. This is the fish. So how long has this? How long has the northern hawk? Can I pick it up with my hands? Come on. Mommy is really cool right back here with the fish biologist. So, how long has the northern hog sucker been a native fish to Georgia? Oh, it's been a long time. That species was discovered over 300 years ago. Got it. And it's it's native to the Ohio River Basin, the Mississippi River Basin, Tennessee River, Chattahoochee River Basin. Want to hold it? I do not want to hold it. <laughs> Let me get its little home. Oh no, maybe I I can hold it while you talk about it. Yep. 
Yeah, hold it up to the light while we while you talk about it. Yeah. Oh. That's pretty cool, Isla, that you're doing that. That's so you know what? If you're doing it, I'm doing it. Very bold of you. <laughs> thank you for thank you for teaching. Like mommy was always scared of their fish, but you're helping me, so thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Can you get it, please? <laughs> Are you brave? I am. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. 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 Here, I'll put it on my head. Okay. Tell me some of the cool things about the northern okay, so sucker. Well, if you look at the top of its head, it's completely flat. Okay. Most most fish, a lot of fish around here are rounded. Really rounded. Really? But on the very top, it, it's it's a flat section. And then if you look at the pectoral fins, which are the two fins up front, show the pectoral fins. I'll bring it up to the front. They're they're kind of enlarged compared to the body size, <laughs> and so northern hog suckers really like to be in fast current. So the flatness of the head, the water goes over the top. Okay. And then the large pectoral fins almost act like hands. They're a little bit sticky on the underside, mm -hmm. so they can hold on to rocks. And I the water, hold it correctly. Water pushes them down, mm -hmm. and then they stick, and they don't have to use a lot of energy in fast current where other fish have to keep moving, mm -hmm. and they, they use more energy. So this, this species has developed a, a niche in faster water. Wow. Where they don't, and they just kind of scoot along the bottom and move rocks around and pick up insects that are underneath the rocks, like stoneflies, mayflies. That is pretty fascinating. Like aquatic worms. Yeah. We'll put them right there back in that water there. Put them back. Can you bring the jar? Bring the jar. Should bring the jar up to the, the camera. I love that one in there so it doesn't dry out. And then you can show that we have some other ones in yeah, there. Yeah, show his other friends. What if it does dry out? It'll, it'll be fine. Yeah. We'll be keeping wet. Show the jar. Okay, so we have <laughs> a family. No, show the actual. No, show. Turn the jar so that they can see the time. So level. also, this says you cannot drink this water at all and okay. if you even tried to i think that would be crazy this it's, has alcohol in it I, wait why was the reason again that's a preservative to keep them because those fish will last for 100 years in that jar excuse me mm -hmm. <laughs> so we have this whole entire jar of the family i think this was just friends strangers they no they, they were they were collected in a bunch of different streams and These are just very interesting to look at, especially for my mom. My mom likes it. It's very interesting. And how many how many fish are made of to Georgia? Just round about. Well, what, for an example, the, sit down, I love the, the Coosa River has, Ooh. I believe, eighty some native species. Really. Compared to the Columbia River out west. That drains Idaho, Washington, parts of Oregon, and parts of Canada has three times less native species. Wow. Our little portion of the of the Coosa River in Georgia has way more native species. Is there anything particular in our water that that facilitates a, a healthier existence for the fish? It's just the way fish evolved on this continent so tennessee alabama northern alabama and north georgia are basically the biodiversity hotspot for freshwater species not just fish but freshwater mussels crayfish almost anything that lives in the water this is we're in the hotbed of aquatic diversity that's amazing that's amazing okay well you know what that was okay. great we learned about the northern what Hog. Sucker. Sucker. Hog sucker. And now we're going to read the pop pop fish. Can I read it? Wait, wait, wait. No, we have two books. I want to read it. I, okay. We're going to let, we're going to let, you're going to start off. We're going to let our guest start the first page. Our guest always kicks off. And then you're going to pass the book. We normally have two books, but not today. We'll share with our nice. We will share with Mr. Lynn. We will share. Okay. Deep in the water, where the fish hang out, lives a glum, gloomy swimmer with an ever-present pout. Mm. And then I read 
pretty and that mom is last. Um, I'm a pow pow fish with a pow pow face. So I'm spared. I spread. I spread the dreary, dreary, weary, dreary, weary, weary, all over the place. Blue, blue, blue. Showing the pictures. Oh, yeah, that's showing the pictures. Showing the pictures, the two pictures, and then bring it back to my book. You enjoy your This is the picture. This is the other picture. Did you think you were going to have all this fun on Veterans Day? I did not. This picture. Is what we're about to read. That's where we're going with it. Stick with the program, parents. Okay, let's do this. Thank you. I'm a pow pow fish with a pow pow face, so I spread the dreary rearies all over the place. Along comes a jellyfish. Wait, wait, wait. Oh no, this is my page. No. Along comes a jellyfish. He floats through the ocean, his tentacles all trailing in a gentle locomotion. Mama, this is his page. No, it's my page. Hey, it's my page. Okay. <laughs> hey, Mr. Fish, with your daily scaly scrowl, I wish you wouldn't greet us with such a grimace and a growl. Okay, that's yours. I really miss reading that book to you. Says the fish to his friend, Mr. Jelly, I agree. I'd like to be more friendly, but it isn't up to me. Taz, it's an island. Um, I'm a pow pow fish with a pow pow face. So I spread the jury wearies all over the place. Blue. Blub. 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 Okay, fine. Along comes a squid, quite a slender, squiggly sight. She is squirmy, she is squelchy, she is slightly impolite. Hey, Mr. Fish, you kaleidoscope of mope. How about a smile, a little joy, a little hope? Says the fish to his friend, Mrs. Squid, I would try, but I haven't any choice. Take a look and you'll see why. Oh, yeah, I wish you on the pages that we paste. Oh, yeah. Are you having this much fun at home, parents? I bet you're not. Okay. Oh, we got one like. It's nice. Hold up, did I miss a page? Yeah, I did. I think it was the wrong way. No! no! When you got your masters on catfish, did you think this would be you? And this was the page that we just read. I, I did not. You see? Yeah. This you was, see? You're going places. This yes, was the this other was, page this was that not we part of the goals read. I had, I had written down 15 extra, years ago. Extra goals. Yeah. And then yeah. this was the page that we read. <laughs> this was the page that we read. Baby Gumbo book club. And that would have been on the page. What's up, 15 years ago? I didn't know about her. Okay, I think I think you, you're passing our pages. Bring our page back. The kids are waiting for the next page. Is he sad? Let's find out. Bring it on in. Okay, here we go. We got this. We got this, honey. I'm a pout pout fish with a pout pout face, so I spread the dreary worries all. Hey, me the exact same way when I have to wake up for school at 6 a.m. Along comes a octopus with the eight great arms covered on the underside with tiny suckers. Tiny sucker charms. Suckers. Okay. See little suckers on his leg? They can. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they can suck. <laughs> Hey, Mr. Fish. 
Hey, Mr. Fish, let me tell it to you. Straight. Straight. Hunky. Your hokey, hokey, sulky is an unattractive trait. Mm -hmm. Says the fish to his friend, Mr. Ate my chum with a mouth like mine. I'm destined to be glum. I'm a pow pow fish with a pow pow face. So I spread dreary all over the place. Blub, blub. <laughs> we'll be here all week, fellas. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here now, comes the. Now along comes a fish in the silent silver shimmer the gang has never seen before. This bright and brilliant swimmer. She approaches Mr. Fish, but instead of saying hey, she plants a, a kiss upon his pout and then she swims away. needed that because he was all grumpy all day. Mr. Fish. Come on, turn it. Oh, wait, we didn't show Oh, yeah, show it. Please show the pictures. Yep. Of the silver fish. Okay. So these are the pictures that we read. This is the picture. In this picture, and then this picture, and then this picture. Come on back. Okay, and then this picture is what I'm about to read. Excuse me, excuse me, hold up, because I need to get my snuggly, snuggly, Real realistic friend, but can't talk. I'm not talking about like his position on camera. <laughs> we love you, Cabal. Just stay wherever you lay him. One more. One more. Huh? Nope, one more. one more. There you go. <laughs> Finally, Mr. Fish most is most ast astounded. Astounded, Mr. Fish is just a guest. A guest. A guest. Like so shocked. Come on, keep on. Um, he is stone faced like a statue. Then he blinks and speaks at last. <laughs> My friend, says Mr. Fish, I should have known it all along. I thought I was pouty, but it turns out I was wrong. I'm a kiss kiss fish with a kiss kiss face for spreading cheery cheeries all ah! over the place. Are you showing the pictures? Showing the pictures. Coming, guys. <laughs> oh, this one is so ugly. Oh, wait, you did it. Okay, and this other page. You can read those words. We love the stuff Okay. <laughs> You're already up there. Wait, wait, wait. It's the grand finale. Okay. So I'll smooth. Smooch, smooch, smooch. Oh! It's a no! Big, it's a big kiss towards the end. Ew! Better show that picture. That's disgusting. Ew. Kiss what comes just... after this? Like, like, are they are they married? I I think they just met in the ocean. I mean, the ocean's a big place. Yeah, it's a big place. <sighs> Do the 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 Is there a courthouse? Do you know? There's probably in Atlantis. Oh! Oh, justice of a peace? Yeah, of course. Smooch! Where Aquaman lives. Ew. I want to thank every mom. I want to thank every dad. I want to thank every kid. Let's give them a hand of applause. Thank you guys for hanging out with us today.
Thank you to the Chattahoochee Oconee National Forest. Thank you to Mr. Lynn, fish biologist. Thank you to whoever named and discovered the northern what? Hog suckers. The northern hog sucker over 300 years ago. And you're coming back with another fish. Yes, I will. We're going to come back with another fish. Thank you, guys. And that is it. Find a lack of someone you love, kids, and sit down. Bye, guys. Also, this is babygumbobookup.com. We are on Facebook. Instagram. Instagram. And we are also on Twitter before you were born. Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, Thank man, I really... wasn't born when Twitter was out. I know. Mom was having all kinds of fun. Listen. I want to thank you for taking your Veterans Day, your off day, and spending it with us. Driving well, guys, down. it took two hours for him. He comes here and then he goes back. I really appreciate you. Thank no. you so much. And thank you to the Chattahoochee Oconee National Forest for loaning him to us for just a little spurt of time for learning about all the fish. And that's it, guys.